We are here at the Gigabyte booth checking out some of their new announcements at CES. So let's kick it off and check out their new Robocop of a GPU that Arya is holding in his hands. This is the Aura's RTX 5090 Infinity, which looks like something straight out of a Tron movie with the outer two fans looking like giant wheels. But this card actually has three fans, not two. If you look closely enough through the mesh, you can see the smaller fan in the middle that will help push the air through the GPU. The 12VH power connector is recessed inside the card, which might be an issue with third-party cables, but overall, the design is interesting. There were a few motherboards showcased on the wall as well, like the X870 Aura Stealth board that originally came in the color white. I actually did a video on this a few months ago, but now they made one in black due to popular request. This is a back connect board with all the connectors shifted in the back for a clean and wireless look from the front. Personally, I'm really digging the black version of this board. I think it looks really clean. The motherboard underneath that, however, I have mixed feelings. I don't think I've seen anyone add wood to a motherboard before. It's certainly the first time for me, but with the ever-growing trend of wood cases and wood slab panels and setups, I honestly don't blame Gigabyte for trying something new. Someone somewhere out there is going to see this board and immediately pick it up. I will say this though, at least the wood accents are not overpowering. Just having them on the IO cover and near the bottom of the board is subtle enough to fit in most builds. But personally, I would have loved to see a modular design for the wood pieces. You know, something that can easily be swapped for a different tone of wood for matching purposes, but still not a bad idea. In terms of specs, you do get four M.2 slots, two of them being PCI Gen 5, and you get three full-length PCI slots, with the top two being Gen 5. Gigabyte did announce a few new OLED monitors as well, starting with the MO27Q28GR. This one is a 27-inch Quad HD OLED monitor with a 280Hz refresh rate and 0.03 millisecond response time. We got the new 4th gen W OLED panels with 1500 nits of peak brightness on HDR. I mean, the colors are more vibrant, the blacks are deeper, and the bezels are much slimmer than before. Moving on to the MO32U24. This one's a QD OLED monitor, but it has the new Obsidian Shield film. I'm sure you've heard of this technology from other brands that called it something different, but it's essentially the same thing. It not only provides deeper blacks compared to last gen OLED, but it also adds another layer of protection and it makes it a lot easier to clean. Also, the new V-Scribe pixel structure helps eliminate any color fringing which was prominent on older OLED monitors. They do have a 34-inch version of the same monitor, but instead of 240Hz, like on the 32-inch version, the Ultraride has 360Hz, so way more faster. It's also worth noting that these are all VESA certified for display HDR True Black 500 with HDR peak 1300 nits. Unfortunately, that's all I had time for at the Gigabyte Suite, but I do got more coverage coming, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.